challenging is a generous way to describe the traffic congestion caused by that for sure. Well, to ease that congestion, they've started a ferry service that will go from the airport here to South Boston. Local leaders set sail for a quick trip across Boston Harbor. The ferry, one more way NAACP delegates can travel to the city during the Sumner Tunnel shutdown. We've all tried to do our best to ensure that we make this as easy as possible for all the delegates coming in. The ferry, named after Phyllis Wheatley, an enslaved woman in Boston who became the first African American to publish a book of poems. Imagine it now, we'll get to ride boats named after some of these uh, phenomenal figures in history. Vice President Kamala Harris set to address the 114th NAACP National Convention in Boston. Delegates taking on issues like criminal justice reform, housing and education. There'll be receptions, panel discussions, there'll be all kinds of activities. The last time Boston hosted this convention was 1982 when racial tensions were high. Leaders hope delegates can see the city in a new light. Not the Boston that people have portrayed and pictured in their minds relative to race matters and the like, right? We certainly have made some advances, but there's still more work to do. Indeed, city leaders hoping to showcase what Boston has become. An opportunity to show how welcoming and inclusive we are. Boston is so much more than just Fenway, the Freedom Trail, and, and Faneuil Hall. And that convention gets underway on Wednesday. We're live here at the South Boston Waterfront. Charmin Skinny, WCVB.